Hello. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, oh look, it must have been somebody's birthday on Thanksgiving. This is when I was taking my walk with Nimbus. Isn't this cute? With a raccoon and a corn and a turkey. And oh, there's a great big turkey. This was from Halloween, and I forgot to post it. I thought it was so clever, being from Michigan. R.I.P. Jimmy Hoffa. (laughs) You might be there under their porch, huh? It was very clever. So this deck of cards we're going to look at was from the 70s. And being in Michigan as a little girl, when that was a big news story... I can remember my parents telling us as we were driving along, especially where people would say Jimmy Hoffa was missing, they would say, oh, we're driving over Jimmy Hoffa. Hello. I thought we could take a look at an estate sale find today. It's from 1975. So just think, next year in 2025, this deck of cards, this old maid game, will be 50 years old. And it's definitely been played with. There are a few fingerprints, but that only means that they got enjoyed way back when. And for all I know, many decades and generations of kids played with it. These are giant old maid cards, and here's the old maid. And in addition to her, we have 19 other characters in this deck. Each has a match, so we have 19 pairs, and that's basically what Old Maid is. We're going to play it with me versus, let's say, you. I'll put my cards over here and yours over there. But you could play it with up to six people. And I know this because the instructions were in it. We're basically just going to, I shuffled them already. I'm going to deal them. We'll make our matches. And whoever ends up with the old maid, well, this is how they word it. The game continues until all pairs of cards are matched and one player is left holding the old maid card. He is the loser. Now that's being pretty blunt, isn't it? This was 1975 by the Western Publishing Company, Incorporated. So let's deal our cards. And just to liven things up, We have a prize. Two Smarties. Two Double Bubbles. And two Peppermint. They're in an ashtray because it's the 1970s, right? We're going back to 1975. That is exactly the kind of thing that we would have done, my brother and my cousins and myself, if we were playing this, if it were really 1975, and all the grown-ups are playing Euchre because I live in Michigan, and I think that's a Michigan card game. Everybody plays Euchre. 
sometimes they play pinochle, I think. Sometimes they play spades. But I, they never really played poker, but they played a lot of cards. My family did. So let's deal. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 39, we have an odd number because remember, somebody's going to be getting the old maid. So let's look at my hand first and we'll make matches. Okay, we have drummer Dan. Uh oh, Tilly Tumble. Husky Hank. Look at his mustache. Dibby Dab. Looks like maybe he's a French artist. Hmm. With his smock and his palette and beret. And no socks with sandals. Jeannie. Uh-oh, his guns are so large that he's got them in holsters and his feet can't touch the ground. Husky Hank, Tilly Tumble, Drummer Dan, Hugo Hunt. Okay, poor Hugo's horse. Because uh, Hugo's a pretty big guy and looks like he's going out on maybe a fox hunt. He's got a top hat and a monocle and a little glass of wine there. We'll look at these two in a second because we kind of skipped over them. I don't see any matches yet. Uh-oh, a lot of noise. Our first, oh no, we have Tilly Tumble here, our second lady. She's playing the violin, but she has earmuffs on. It's a lot of noise. Oh, Art Smart. Looks like he's a professor. He's got Situation hat on and a tassel and a pencil behind his ear and a great big book on a podium. So art smart. Poo poo clown. Well, I don't know. Look at him. He's pretty scary looking. And he's got an old stogie and great big clown shoes and an umbrella. Hiram Hay, a fool, no shoes on, a pitchfork, a straw hat, and a chicken in his pocket. There's Flossy Fish. She doesn't have any shoes on either, but look at that white toothy smile on Flossy. 
kind of looks like um, Ella May. Is that the girl from the uh, Beverly Hillbillies? But she caught herself a nice clean fish there. We have no matches yet. <laughs> Greasy Grimes. Mechanic. His badge says Grimes. He's got a screwdriver in his pocket and a wrench and a oil thing, I think. Fanny Flint. And that looks like the grandma from the Beverly Hillbillies. And she's got a big rifle, it looks like. Is it? I think powder horn, and some arrows with a uh, raccoon skin cap. Oh no, Betty Bumps. Betty Bumps has a helmet on, fortunately, with her braids. And she has on wrist guards, kind of. And she has a pillow tied to her with a rope because it seems like she's going to fall off her skateboard. Well, what do we have here? We have our first match, Hugo Hunt. So, let's find him. Put them, put it out on the, t on the table. Have Molly Moo and another big toothy smile. Look at her pretty gingham dress in pink and no shoes and a wooden milk bucket. And she kind of reminds me of Nellie from Little House on the Prairie. Oh, we have another match, Greasy Grimes. We're getting pretty low on our pile, so we better have some matches. So where's Greasy Grimes? Oh, there he is. So we have another match. Hugo Hunt and Greasy Grimes. I think I hear a little bat out there. We have another match, Flossy Fish. We have three matches so far. Art Smart. There's another match. And we have four. And Hiram May. Our farmer. So these are left without matches. So let's gather them up. And we'll look at the other hand. Our turn is over. Okay, since we can't make any more matches, we have to take a card from our opponent. Let's see if we can make any matches with the card we get. Oh, we can. We got Fanny Flint. So, where is Fanny? Where are you, Fanny? Where are you, Fanny? Molly Moon. There you are. There you are. Another match. Since we made a match, we get to draw another card from their hand. So let's do that. Okay, we did not we do not have the match to this lady. This is Hada Howell. I never noticed that there was a little striped kitty with Hada here. She's an opera singer. And she is in the traditional female outfit that you might associate with an opera singer with the horns and the comb bra. It's kind of like a Madonna bra. We're going to uh, learn something here because I had to look it up. Who is this character that 
is um, portrayed here. What opera? It's from the Wagner Opera. It's from Ride of the Valkyries. I thought that was interesting. And that was in a very famous Apocalypse Now scene, that portion of that song. So we didn't make a match. So we have to reluctantly let our opponents take their turn. So let's look at that hand. Okay, so let's see what they had. Oh boy, they have a politician. Gusto Graft. Maybe Graft. Oh, he's just yammering away. Look at that great big mouth that's opened. Oh, wow. And he is on a, a patriotic looking stand. And the lady's got a big old wad of money in his hands. This hand has the old maid. With her little violet in her hand. Can't divvy down. Oh, there's a head of howl. A lot of noise. John Law. Husky Hank. Husky Hank. John Dan. I don't really look at him. He kind of looks like the politician, doesn't he? That drum is bigger than he is. Betty Bumps. Molly Moo. Oh, we have a match. Gusto Craft. Our politician. Where is Gusto? Maybe it's Gusto. Short for Gustav. I don't know. There's a match for the blue team, let's call them. Oh, what about Choosy, Ch Choosy Chef? I think we have another person that's supposed to be from France with their pencil thin mustache but they're not being very careful and they're spilling some of their batter on the ground. I wonder what they're making. Is that good? Yeah. We have a match for him. We have two matches so far. Tilly Tumble. Oh, here's another match. Petunia Pearl. She looks kind of like the old maid. Maybe they're sisters. Oh, maybe they all look too much like each other. Yeah, they kind of do. Let's take a look at Petunia Pill here. She is a nurse, and she doesn't look real happy. She's got like a red cross. Apron on and a tray with different medicines on it for you to take. And you better take them. So there is our third match for this hand, for the blue team. Dippy Dan, Tilly Tumble, Cuckoo Clown, Head of Howl, Husky Hank, Drummer Dan, Betty Bumps, Molly Moo, John Law, Lot of Noise, and the Old Maid. So we have to draw from this hand, let's flip them over, not that it matters. Okay, we made a match with Cuckoo Clown. Now, Cuckoo Clown represents a character in a children's game sold in the 70s that just, it wouldn't be in a children's game now. Not be marketed to little children because of the cigar, but he's pretty funny. Mm -hmm. So we made a match so we get to draw another card. Husky Hank. Need another match. Oops. Dippy down. Need another match. Betty Bumps. John Law. We've got to make all our matches now. I think. 
A lot of noise. I'm going to get left with the old maid, though. Here I am on a roll, and I'm probably going to make every match. Drummer Dan. Where are you, Drummer Dan? There you are. And remember what the instruction said about whoever's left holding the old maid. He is the loser. I don't feel like a loser. Till we tumble. Look at poor Tilly. That would be me if I went skiing. And she's got not on her. Oh, her. I was going to say she doesn't have a hat on. It came off. It's at the end of her ski. Really no. Gotta howl. And the blue team's left with the old maid, even though I made all those matches. But guess what? We're gonna share the prize. Even Stephen. Because it's the right thing to do. things for me and three things for you. We're going to gather up the cards. Where are they? There they are. All of our different characters. Where are they? They're really cool, aren't they? I'm going to shuffle them up a little bit and I am going to put them back in the box with the instructions. fun looking at the characters and I learned something about old maid cards in general I will keep my eyes peeled at the sales more old maid was a popular game all through the decades I don't know if it still is a lot of them are very valuable this was worth more than I paid for it a few of them are dirty and I won't get rid of it because I like them. Stick them with my old toys. So thank you for playing the card game with me and watching my videos.